how does it feel to be back out there um, on the field? It felt good. Uh, I'm working off to the side for some time now just to do individuals with the group. Uh, it felt good. Yeah, it's putting on shoulder pads, you know, running with the guys. felt good. What's the uh, last few weeks been like for you? A uh, grind, uh, for sure. I say this whole process has been a grind, uh, putting the work in early mornings, uh, late nights, just, you know, trying to get back right. Um, Robert was telling us that you're further along than they expected you to be at this point. Do you feel that as well? And at what point did you get the sense that... The yeah, for sure. I mean, I was just waking up every day just trusting the process. Uh, that was my main thing. Just whatever they was telling me to do. Uh, just putting the extra work in also. Just trusting the process. Uh, attacking every day. So, can you see the light a little bit at the end of the tunnel with all this grind and, and with a chance to get on the field and start? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always thought it was light at the end. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I always put the work in. So, I mean, the results are going to show regardless. So, just continue to keep my head down, uh, stay out the way and work. How are you looking you? forward to contributing to this, what could be a high power offense? Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I feel like I can help the offense, uh, help this team, you know, Explosively in the uh, passing game, uh, block outside on the edge for the you know for the guys, and you know put some points on the board. So you did some individual stuff today. So how do you see like, the next few weeks going for you? Uh, just keep progressing. Uh, just whatever the plan they have for me, just continue to stick with that uh, and put my uh, best foot forward. Like, in, your, in your mind, do you need a certain amount of time to practice with the team, the team drills before that week one game? Uh. Yeah, I've been playing football for a long time. Uh, I feel like chemistry can can come uh, whenever I get out there. Uh, but yeah, just continue to come out here. The trainers got a plan for me, and I'm gonna stick with it. How realistic is Week One in your mind? Uh, I guess we gotta see. <laughs> we gotta see. What's, what's your expectation for what this offense can be with the pieces you had, and then what you've seen from Aaron? Back on the field and, and train uh, I think we can be explosive. I think we can put up a lot of uh, points. Uh, obviously, if we get a lead, uh, the defense can let their dogs go and make some things happen. So we just got to control what we can control, uh, make sure we let everybody have fun, go out there, play football, and, you know, just be aggressive. Have you been able to build chemistry with Aaron just in meetings? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. I, I ask questions uh, if I see something. And I want to know. I always ask questions. I feel like uh, that can help me without actually being out there doing it. Just making sure we're on the same page. So when I, when I do get an opportunity to go out there, you know, it, it's not something I see and not be on the same page with him. So, yeah, I ask questions if need be and uh, make sure we're on the same page. How do you feel like your skill set complements the other receivers on the uh, team? Uh, I think it, I'm different. Uh, obviously, big physical receiver. Uh Garrett, route runner, explosive also, can uh, run every route tree in the route uh, book. Zay, flat, fast, explosive. Allen, big, physical receiver also. Uh, I feel like we got a different, you know, different group of guys in our room, and I feel like we complement each other uh, very, very well. Like, I think when we talked through in June, mini camp, or other days, you said you were going to stay the whole time here working in July. Did you do that, and was it? Was there not many guys here? I mean, what, what kind of was that like? No, nah, I, yeah, I stayed. I was here the whole time. It was a, a good group of guys here. Uh, yeah, it was a good group here. Reese said, kind of been asked him questions about what his rehab was like. How, yep, yep, how, yep. how have you leaned on him, and how much has he made this process more comfortable for you? Well, obviously, I mean, when you're going through some, you want to talk to someone who kind of been through a similar situation. I mean, it's hard to get advice for somebody who never really been through it. So I just wanted to talk to him, ask him how his process was, see like what he was dealing with and see if I was on the right track or where I was at. And yeah, just getting the uh, aspect of just see where he was at when he was doing his whole rehab process and, and where I'm at too. Do you know, Mike, if you're going to have to wear a brace? No, know? I'm not wearing a brace. No brace. No. Mike, if this part of your game is 50-50 balls and getting thrown open, how do you and Aaron get on the same page with that? Because there's a lot of experimenting that goes on in practice that are here, that are here. In terms of that, the way you play and getting him to put it where you need to be. Well, I'm going to just react to Aaron. I'm going to let Aaron be Aaron. Aaron been doing this for a long time with a lot of different receivers. So I'm going to just react.